Hey guys, this is Adrian and this week Avo 2.7 comes back with a few features and some bug fixes. Let's check it out. So the first one we're going to focus on is feature, it's initialize the parent and attach the grandparent in the attach scope. Last week introduced the attach scope, which allows you to scope out the items in a attach model. So I'm going to go into a post, edit, and we have this belongs to and you can scope out uh, the list of these uh, records so maybe you don't want some of them featured you don't don't want all the users it was pointed out to us that there's an edge case that we didn't cover in the initial release so we're, go we're gonna fix it now first i'm gonna go and show you what we're dealing with we have the team model and the team membership model so the team has many memberships which is actually a, a helper for the team members so the team member has many through memberships so the memberships is only a pivot between the team and the user next i'm gonna go into the team resource and enable this a memberships field and then in the team membership resource i have this uh, belongs to we have two belongs to associations one with the user and one with the team so for the user we're going to add an attached scope now i'm going to show you what the issue was from the initial release so i'm going to go into a team and now if i go to a membership and edit this membership and open this belongs to the searchable belongs to we're going to output in the console let's do just the parent and now when I click on this, I'm going to go into the console and we see that the, that the parent is actually a team membership with ID of 44. So we know it's this one, precisely this one. And now we can scope out this query and show only the users that we want to show. Maybe we want to show the users that belong to uh, this team. So we have this team ID of four available to us. So we, we have all the information we need. But if we go back, so I'm, a, I'm on a team and I'm trying to create a new team membership. And now I click this, you'll see that we don't have a team membership available. So before this fix, this parent would be would have been nil because there, there was no parent uh, persisted yet. So you don't really know how you don't have all the information to scope up these these resources. Uh, now, ideally, you'll have some information regarding the parent's parent. So basically, we jumped from the team with ID of four to creating new, a new membership. So this is what we did in this release. So we initialize a team membership. It's with ID of nil. It's not persisted yet, but we give it the team ID of four. So now we can go back into the code and say parent.team. If I click on this, and go back you'll see we'll have that this precise team with id of four and now i have all the information i need to better scope up this list uh, this is extremely useful in multi-tenancy situations i hope you like it and i hope it will help you uh, in building your uh, app next is resource tools this has been something that we wanted to add from day one so let's check it out i'm going to go into my console and generate a resource so AVO, uh, Rails generate AVO resource tool post info. And this created two files. It created a uh, configuration file and one partial. So let's check them out. So I have this configuration file, which only holds the name of the resource tool and the partial if you want to change it. It will default to something computed, but you can change it here. And now the partial, the partial has everything you need to create your own uh, resource tool. Let's see how this works. So I'm gonna go into the post resource and I'm going to uncomment this. So basically the same way you'd use an action on a, or a filter or a field, you declare it on the resource uh, configuration uh, file, you can add this tool. So tool and I'll say post info. Now if I go into a post and go here at the bottom, we have this resource tool. So basically, that partial that I just showed you is going to be rendered down here. So this is waiting to be updated. You can edit this file uh, and you get the path to the partial and the configuration file over here. Um, the partial is beautifully wrapped inside a panel component. So you can give it a title or a description and that will show up beautifully here. It will just look like any other panel that Avo adds for you. You can customize the link. So this is dummy link and you can customize this over here. And now inside this partial, you have access to a few things. You have access to the actual tool. 
So you'll have access to this object, this uh, initiate, instantiated object over here, and you'll have access to the resource. Let me show you how that looks. And the resource, it's an instantiated object that holds a lot of things. It holds the params, the user, uh, it holds the actual model. Uh, you can do whatever you want. So if you go model.id, you'll get the actual ID, so ID of 34. You also get uh, have access to the params and the context and current user. I think you, you'll get everything you need to scope up this information a lot better. We hope the resource tools will help you deliver the best experience to your customers. By default, the resource tool is only available on the show screen. If we go back to edit, you'll see we don't have it here, but you can go to the post resource and say uh, visible on, uh, actually it's show on uh, edit. And now you'll have it on edit as well or you can say only on edit. Coolio. Next is authorization in menus. Uh, since we shipped the menus feature, everybody was very happy about it and we love that. But somebody pointed out that the authorization does not work in menus. Let me show you what we're talking about. So if I go into the initializer, into the main menu. So if I add this resource team to my to my main menu, and then I go into the team policy and disable it, disable the access to the index screen. Now, if I go back and refresh the page, you'll see that this is here. So this is what we want by default. So if you declare it in your menu builder, it will be visible. But if you want to take into account your policy rules, then this would be a little bit more difficult. So I added this helper, let me show you. So we have we now have an authorized method inside this block and we are, we are authorizing the current user which is available inside this block and we're gonna give it the class that we want to authorize. So the team, because this is a team resource and we give it the method, so the index method and then we tell it not to raise an exception. So now if I go and refresh the page, the Teams uh, resource is hidden from the main menu. But now if I go into the policy and switch this to true, then this will be available. So now it takes into account your policy, um, your policy rules. So this is helpful to not duplicate your code. Next, let's move on to the bug fixes. So we had some help this week. So keep valid backpath when navigating from index. Thank you so much, Bob. Uh, we appreciate the, you working on this. So what was happening before, I'm gonna show you in Avo demo because this still works. This is still broken. Um, so if you go into a, an index file and hit edit, now if you click cancel, it will take you back to the show view of that course instead of taking you back to the index from wh where you came from. So now uh, in this release, we go back to the courses and we hit edit and now we hit cancel. It knows to go back to the index screen. So this is a, a very nice addition. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, again, from Paul, uh, we have return field name when uh, if it uh, has one. So basically, if we go back to if we go to a user resource, we have this uh, post, which is a has one and the name uh, option did pretty much didn't really work with we didn't implement it so now it works so the post on the has one it's it's going to be called main post and if we go and check it out this is the main post so thank you so much for that fix next is broken pagination on per page switch so what happened before i'm just going to show you the, the video so what happened before if you go to the second page and, and you have two pages, but then you change the paginations to something that you don't have the second page anymore, that will throw an error because it will keep you, uh, it will try to set the second page, but you only have one page, so that threw an error. But now it works just beautifully. Let's try it out. Now if you go into the second page and click 72, it will redirect you to the first page, so uh, you only get that one. Coolio. Next, long model name cause, uh, causes the navigation labels to overlap with the main content. So thank you so much, Joseph. Uh, you've been a top contributor as well. Uh, let's check it out. So if I go, um, 
into Avo demo and let me open up this one and now make this a long, long resource name. You'll see that this sidebar gets uh, very fugly. Uh, but now if I try to do the same thing in the fixed version, it will just get uh, cut out and, and moved on a, on a new row. So uh, this is this is better. This is a better experience than, than the previous one. Thank you so much for that fix. Next is broken search on back action. So we'll check it out on, on Avo demo again. So pay attention to the search. So we have like courses, search, search, course links, search, search. Now when I hit the back button, the search disappears, both the global and the resource one. So that was because we were removing this element. And now in the fixed version, let's see users, search, search projects, search, search. When I hit back, the search is available and you can uh, search through it. So we did uh, a little bit of fixing uh, here and we added uh, the bundle integrity. This is just a maintenance thing. Uh, we hope you love this release. Uh, we think that it's getting closer and closer to uh, allowing you to build any types of apps or internal tools with Avo. Uh, please send us your feedback in the Discord channel on GitHub. We love GitHub issues. We have love GitHub discussions. We love your feedback. Tell everybody about Avo and how it helps you ship your apps 10 times faster. Thank you so much. Uh, see you next week.